Previously on Life with Chin. Open eye, feel the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing in. Hold tight, hold tight, can't make calls collide. Hey, everybody. It's a new day, a new sleigh. So what we're doing today is we're going on a boat tour. We're gonna be touring downtown Miami, musicians and actors' houses. We're gonna be cruising on the water and just basically just gonna sightsee. This is a quick outfit of the day. I got this one piece from Pretty Girl and the slippers are the same slippers that I had on yesterday. These are from Rainbow. These shades I bought a while ago from, I think on Jamaica Avenue. It was so long ago. And of course I had my, oop, my hoop earrings in. I did a get ready with me, a full get ready with me on my beauty channel. So go and check that out. It'll be linked in the description box. Go guys and go tour my Miami. Bienvenidos a Order Bay Ride. How's everyone doing today? ¿Cómo se siente hoy? Right. Good. All right, good game. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be sightseeing the home of the rich and famous. The MacArthur Causeway, La Carretera MacArthur. It connects Miami to Miami Beach and also Watson Island to the right hand side. La Carretera MacArthur, damas y caballeros, conecta Miami a Miami Beach y también a la isla Watson a la mano derecha. Ladies and gentlemen, an attraction at Watson Island is that colorful building right there on the right. Una atracción a la isla Watson es ese edificio con muchos colores a la mano derecha. Now to your left, a la mano izquierda, the Venetian Causeway, el puente veneciano, the oldest span that connects Miami to Miami Beach, opened in 1925. It was used for the movie Too Fast, Too Furious, where the Paul Walker, better known as Biden in the movie, jumps the bridge with his vehicle. Belongs to Puerto Rican singer, Le Pedreza Catate Puerto Riqueño. He likes to live La Vida Loca. Le gusta vida, vida loca. Ricky Morin. That dome on the roof, this is on the techo, that's a jacuzzi. This man 
mention right here once belong to Colombian singer. Le voy a decir la cantante colombiana whose hips don't lie, Shakira, Shakira. She sold it because she said that she had no privacy, and I don't know why. White one, esa blanca with the pool surrounding the mansion con la piscina rodeando la mansión belongs to famous actor Matt Damon. Trees on the top of those arboles and that wall, y ese muro. Behind all that is famous rapper and producer. Detrás de todo eso viene el famoso rapper y productor P Diddy. P Diddy. No, 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 no. Puff Daddy. No, Sean John, Sean Puffy Combs, Diddy, Coco Puff, Puffy, Pizza, Papa John. I don't know. He has more names and musical hits. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that white one with the orange roof. Esa blanca con el techo de la belongs to Spanish singer. Pero esa cantante español, Julio Iglesias. La blanca. That mansion right there, ladies and gentlemen, once belonged to the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. La Marina pertenecía al famoso actor Will Smith. I'm about to present to you, yo les voy a presentar my house, mi casa. Wait, why are you guys laughing? That's my house, I have money. I just work here just to learn how to be humble. I'm kidding, mentira, it belongs to Dr. Philip Frost. Le pertenece al Dr. Felipe Frost. Dr. Philip Frost is a pharmaceutical doctor who helped produce the generic blue pill that changed the life of many men and also the women. And Dr. Felipe Frost is a pharmaceutical that helped produce the pastillas of the that changed the life of many men and also the women. The Viagra! La Viagra! They say that every night, every night, Dr. Philip Frost puts a Viagra pill on each palm tree. That's why they're standing straight up. Oh, wow. Ladies and gentlemen, that white man, Teresa Blanca, once belonged to all blue eyes, the singer. The potencial cantante de azul es Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Hey. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the guy, yeah, it's not that type of show. <laughs> that white one with a lot of windows, belongs to famous singer, Le Pertenece La Famosa Cantante. She had to work, work, work for this house. Rihanna! Riri! You! You! Ladies and gentlemen, this white one, Eta Blanca. This white man to watch belong to ex soccer player. No, it belongs to ex soccer player. Esta blanca le pertenece al ex futbolista David Beckham. Yeah, David Beckham. He might be there. Quizá está ahí. Ladies, please do not jump. Yeah, the other day I had a lady who jumped off. I had to go rescue her. Miami Beach, Marina, La Marina, Miami Beach. You want to know how I know this? Get inside. Come on, say it. It says it right there. I know you say. Miami Beach Marina, La Marina Miami Beach, the largest marina in South Florida, built in 1904, houses over 400 vessels. The marina was also used for many movies and TV series. La Marina fue usada para muchas películas y series de televisión, like como Scarface, Miami Vice, CSI Miami, Too Fast, Too Furious, Bad Boys 2, Transporter, Ace Ventura, Dexter, and Burn Notice. Now ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to take a quick break on the mic. I know you guys are tired of hearing me out. Now you guys can relax, move around, and take pictures. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, no. that works. There's no fry. Yeah, that, that works. All right, so I guess I'll just get an order of that. I'm so hungry, I can't even look through your menu. <laughs> okay, let's see what going on for the appetizer. I thought this was an all vegan place. Apparently not. I'll do the mustard vegan one. Okay. One of these juices. The beets, apple, orange, lemon, ginger. My boss. Yes. Thank you so much. vlogging yesterday that's because my mood honestly changed and I don't really know why but yeah my mood changed and I just was editing a video and then I just went to sleep so I didn't do anything after I ate so yeah I'm getting ready to go to the airport now well actually I'm about to try to pack up I'm about to pack up this stuff and I'm dreading it I'm not gonna lie it's all over the counter and then I gotta put the stuff in the suitcase. I just really don't feel like it. But um yeah, so it's going home day. I mean I had fun. I had a lot of fun actually. I will definitely be back very, very soon. Definitely be back to Miami. I really enjoyed my trip. Even though I didn't really do much, but it was enough for me. You know, it was a purpose for this trip and I definitely fulfilled my purpose. There are certain things were definitely put into perspective for me and I got answers that I needed, you know, just to get away because a lot of times when you in your um when you're in your your city where you live it's kinda hard to get inspiration because your mind is just constantly just not there. My mind is just not fully there. I don't know about everybody else, but my mind is not fully there when I am home. So I needed a getaway, honestly. I really needed a getaway. It was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. So um, I accomplished that and I got answers and I'm just, you know, I'm just ready to, not ready to get back home, but I'm just ready to get home so I can put action to things that, um, that needs to be, taken care of you know okay yeah this looks all right um, let me get my brush so yeah you know it's one of those trips where I had to just figure out exactly you know where where my life was going you know what I really my purpose is I mean I know my purpose you know I know my purpose but you know, some things that I just wasn't clear about, so I'm glad that everything, you know, is coming to light. It's going to be a, a new me <laughs> all around. Luchin all around. I'm changing my phone number. Um, you know, like, being that I don't have people, I don't have friends, and I don't keep company, but, you know, I had my number for years, and... You know, and every once in a while, somebody that you knew would just hit you up. And I don't like that. So, that's what I mean. New chin, new number, new everything. I don't want... It's just time for the old people to go. You know what I mean? I don't want no... Nobody hitting me up. Not even know how you doing. No... No nothing. 
you know it's just town for new people new attitude new scenery new everything and that's another thing too i really love miami and remember i was telling you guys in a few videos back in a few months ago how um i want to get out of new york well this trip definitely proved how much new york is intoxicating me i get here i don't vlog Y'all know, y'all ask me for vlogs all the time, and I don't vlog in New York. And I go shopping, you know, I go to Target, and I could still take y'all to Target, but I don't know what it is. I just don't feel like taking out the camera in Target. When I'm here, I'm vlogging in a damn Lyft. I mean, the, the Uber. I'm vlogging in, 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 um, in, in the stores. <laughs> I'm vlogging out in public. Like, and I have no fear. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, that's, that was step one. I was like, yes, I definitely need to get out because it's something about that energy in New York that is just not resonating with me no more. I got to just get out of there. It's really holding me back and suffocating me. So I'm really going to make it my business to, you know, um, to, think it, to, to get out. And plus, I love the weather here. So I don't know, y'all. I think Miami's on my bucket list or Florida in general. I don't understand. Like, I hate and I don't like to use that word, but I absolutely hate to run errands because I don't want, I, I don't like the hood. I dislike the hood now. You know, I'm outgrowing, I'm growing, and I just don't want to be in the hood anymore. That's not where I belong. And then the other Uber driver that was taking me to dinner, he was saying that. He was like, it's crazy how people just sense your energy like that. He's just like, yeah, you... Oh, I ain't put no deodorant. Hold on. I ain't put no deodorant on. So, yeah, it's just crazy how people sense your energy like that. You know, he was just like, you know, when he was asking me in the Uber, he was like, oh, you know, telling me to go to the art deck or art, win them art something. And um, and I was like, okay, you know, that makes sense. I can go after the boat ride, but I, I never I never ended up going. But, you know, he was just, like, giving me things to do. And I was like, yeah, that makes sense. And then he was just, when I, when I, when he found out I was going to the vegan, um, the vegan restaurant, and then he looked and he was like, oh, wow, yeah, it's really nice and classy. Because he was like, on a Tuesday, you're all dressed up. You know, he's paying attention to where I look. And he's like, you're all dressed up. He was like, you're not going to really get, you know, it's, I doubt if it's going to be like the type of environment that you're hoping for it on a Tuesday night. And, and and look, when we pulled up, that's the first thing he said. He was like, oh, yeah, that's definitely you. I guess he never been around that area, you know. So that's another sign. You know, I pay attention to, de to details like that. And it's the smallest little things that you got to pay attention like that, too, because those are all signs, guys. Your life is 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 full of signs and direction you just have to be aware of them try my best to not miss the beat <laughs> i pay attention to everything somebody say every move every eye every everything because it's it's all you know it's all a part of your of your direction so yeah when he said that you know i was like yeah he was like you know yeah miami is definitely for you and from somebody that's coming from miami that lives in miami that's a big deal you know what i mean when somebody's saying that that to you because you know in new york we don't really have much we i love new york don't get me wrong but we don't really have you know first of all it's expensive to live so what are we gonna tell somebody if they want to come to new york you see what i'm saying it's not like we have something good or bad well you know yeah come to new york da, 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 da. like nah that's the main thing and with most people it's expensive i feel like i belong here <laughs> it's so crazy just three days being here and I really feel like I belong here. I gotta find some food. And um, at the airport actually, they have a, when I was coming in, I wanted a green juice and the security said that there was a green juice not in the in arrivals and departure, so that's great. Um, so I'm going to go and get me a green juice and some food. I don't know if they have vegan food in there, but I don't know figure out something uh, my trip is over <laughs> it's about to be a change y'all think change was changed oh it's about to be changed on a whole new level whole new level 
I really came to the understanding that I need new people. Oh, I didn't put no powder on my face. My face looks pretty freaking clear. Wow. Usually, like, I'm not putting on no makeup today. So, usually when I don't put on no makeup, sometimes I like to just put my powder over my face. And it kind of, you know, blurs out any imperfections just a tiny bit. But it's honestly, my face looks clear. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> This hair is holding up good. I just literally brushed it and look at it. It's still, it's a little, not tangled really, but you know, you just gotta, not tangled at all. It's really holding up good. When I get home, I'm gonna do a review on it. So, yeah, this is it. End of my trip. So I will see you guys back in New York. so I'm all packed up that was actually pretty simple it wasn't that bad I was like ooh light yes I don't know it seemed easier to pack up than it was to pack bye room I will see you all in New York back to the jungle I see I still wear the same outfit that I wore here cause it's not dirty cause I'm going home that's it um so yeah I will see y'all in New York bye